Hello everybody, there it is. Round four is done and dusted and we've come out victorious. I just, uh, one point win, it's such a relief. It is, um, it honestly really is. We talked about it during the week about how we could potentially set up the season. We're two and two. We look at the next fixed block of games in the, in the fixture and, you know, we, we really set ourselves up and, you know, we also, when you look at the last five or six years, how we've started seasons and, you know, really the hope of, you know, being a contender in terms of finals aspirations has really been sucked out pretty early. And for various reasons, we know we've been rebuilding. We know we've had draft picks and injuries and, and the like, but to be this early in the season and, and to be two and two and, and relevant, relevant in the terms of the competition, in the context of the competition is, is so important. And, you know, I'm, I'm seeing progression in the first four rounds. And, you know, if you look at the last couple of years, we've gone 2018, complete basket case, you know, terrible year. 2019 starts terribly. Uh, second half of the year, we start seeing some signs, new coach, etc., And then it's sort of the expectation of, okay, we need to start seeing some improvement. You know, we've gone from losing badly to we need to start learning how to win. And I think these close games are, are part of that process. And, um, you know, we, we need to, Dave, David Teague spoke about needing to learn in wins. Obviously, when you lose, you know, emotionally, it's bad and it's, you know, you, you take a lot of learnings from it because it's such a harsh lesson. And obviously, you look at that Melbourne loss was a very harsh lesson. Um, but we need to get wins on the board because winning breeds winning. Winning allows you to set standards. You know, that Geelong game, it set the standard of how we're going to play and how we're going to come out. I think we ticked the box again last night in terms of how we start the game. I thought we started the game fairly well. Um, I thought throughout the entire game, we deserved to win the game. And I felt like even though it was a scrappy game and we didn't take our opportunities, I didn't feel like there was an entire quarter where we were just rubbish. I thought we were across the four quarters, we were the better side. Um, I didn't feel like there were too many patches for too long compared to what we've seen early in the season. Obviously, the Bombers got up early in the fourth. They're up by 12 points and, you know, that feeling, that PTSD. And I was looking at all the messages from people, Twitter, everyone. Everyone was saying the same thing. And it was like, here we go. We're definitely losing this. And I didn't I didn't feel that until the last minute. We give away the 50-meter penalty. Whatever it was for, I don't really know. Um, and then at that moment, it was like, oh, fuck. I've seen this before. They're going to go forward. They're going to take a mark. They're going to have a shot on goal. Lo and behold, Jacob Townsend, great camera angle for the theater, being right behind the goals. And it looked good off the boot. And obviously, it gets touched on the line or head-butted, I should say, on the line. And, and we escape with the win. And look, overall, like I said, I thought we deserved to win the game. Um, I thought it was a really good performance from guys who we've asked a little bit more from over the last few weeks. Cripps wasn't anywhere near his best last night. And that's probably the second game against the Bombers where they've been able to work well on him and, and sort of quell his influence. So, you know, you've got to give them respect for that. Um, but obviously, and we'll get into the individuals and the play ratings, but, you know, the Cunninghams, the set of fields, the Gibbons, you know, these guys stepping up, that was really important for me. Um, you know, when, when you look at last year, let's look at, you know, those close games that we just didn't, didn't go our way. The Gold Coast game and that Hawthorne game, you know, obviously different circumstances and a different team, but those close games early in the season didn't go our way. We weren't able to get the momentum early and build off, whereas now we've banked two wins uh, after the first four rounds. You know, we've banked them, they're there, we can springboard off there. We know, well, I know, I'm sure you guys can see it too, there's a lot of improvement left in this team. You know, the next step... I think we're in the next step in terms of learning how to win and grind those close games. And when the pressure's on, can you just endure? I think we've, I think we're taking some strides there. I think the next step after this, however long it takes, I don't know, but it's going to be, hey, when you get dominance in in general play, which is what we had, you need to be able to put the foot down and, and win the game. Because I felt like we probably should have been three to four goals up uh, more than what we were. And I think that's the next step for us. Now, you know, I'll take a little bit of comfort now knowing that, hey, I'm seeing progression. Now, I don't want that to be complacency. You know, obviously you want to win every week. We know what we're capable of now, um, but we, we need to see, you know, there's going to be hiccups is, is what I'm trying to say. I think there's going to be hiccups. The next three weeks are very important. I, I still feel like we're going to have a lot of these 
bumps along the way, but I think I take solace in the fact that, okay, we just beat Geelong away, you know, Essendon, you know, call them for what they are, but they were a final side last year. So I, I, I'm very happy. I'm very confident and I'm very relieved for the players because they deserve it. You know, they, they represent our great club and they deserve to, to be happy and, you know, the way they sang the song and they threw Philby in the middle. And, you know, I want to see that generated. And, you know, once we get to go to the stadiums and we get to go to the games, you know, and flock there in our tens of thousands, we're going to take that up to another level. And I can't wait. So I'm very relieved. I thought my best player on the ground, it was Sam Doherty for me. Uh, there were others that were fantastic. Cunningham, we could talk about his breakout game. Gibbons was fantastic. I thought Murphy stood up. But for me... Sam Doherty, <laughs> maybe I'm getting a little bit excited, but I think he's our best player. 32 touches, it was something crazy like 92% efficiency. Decision making is there, the way he kicks the ball. Some of these kicks late in game on his left foot. Oh, pressure was on, he was outstanding. I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy for him and the work that he's put in and I think he just deserves all the, the praise that he's gonna get this week. He just deserves it. Um, because you can imagine over the course of the last two years the, the adversity, the doubt, and obviously it's sport and it's footy and he will talk about it and he has talked about how he's grateful that that's what he does and people have it a lot tougher than him. But, you know, in the context of what we're watching here, he, he's, he's something else and I just wanted to acknowledge him for that and I thought he was the best of field. But hey, what about you? What did you see last night? Are you... Are you are you frustrated? Um, did, did the win kick in straight away? For me, it took about half an hour after the game for to really be excited and to be happy. I was still very stressed and the heart is, oh man, this, this club's going to ruin me. But what about you? What was your experience like? Where were you watching it? Um, did you feel like we had the game won? Where are your areas of improvement for us? Let me know in the comments below and stay tuned for the player ratings video next up. Hey!